Okay, in this pack we revisit hypotheses testing. Uh, we revise hypotheses testing for the normal and the binomial, and we look at hypotheses testing for our new distributions, Poisson and the geometric. Lesson one, we are looking at revision of hypotheses testing for the normal distribution. Okay, so um, if you remember, the, perhaps the, a key idea here is that when we do a hypothesis test on a normal distribution, the uh, sample, the um, test statistic is always a value of x bar, and therefore it's the distribution of x bar that we work with when doing the hypothesis test on a normal. Um, so crucially, the variance is divided through by n to get our reduced variance. So here we have our first problem, our first example. So the amount of juice in a carton as a normal distribution with a standard deviation of three. So you always get a known standard deviation in hypothesis tests for the normal. Um, the claim of the company is that the mean amount of juice is 60. So there's the mean value for our null hypotheses. Trading inspector has received complaints that the company is overstating the mean amount. That gives us uh, the direction for our alternative hypotheses. Uh, and we have a random sample of 16 cartons. That's our n value. And our test statistic, our mean amount of juice per carton is 51, 59.1. Significance level, 5%. Okay, so we're all set up. Let's have a look at our reminder of our procedure. So always state your null hypotheses and your alternative hypotheses. It's worth writing down the distribution of x bar for your problem. So uh, that's your mean, your variance. So you always be careful whether you're given standard deviation or variance. We were given a standard deviation of three, so a variance of three squared. And remember to make it the distribution of x bar, we divide through by the sample size of 16. So we get x bar normally distributed, mean of 60, and a standard deviation of 0 0.75. Different approach is available now for uh, concluding our hypotheses test. The method that's shown here is to work out the probability of our uh, test statistic, um, or worse. So we basically follow the um, same direction as the alternative hypotheses. So we work out the probability and we then just compare that probability with the significance level of the test. An alternative would have been to work out the critical region uh, for the test and then just compare uh, the x bar value with it. Um, or we could have standardized um, the test statistic and then compared that to the standardized critical region. So there are um, different points of comparison that you can use when doing a hypothesis test. And the favoured one here is to work out the probability and compare with the significance level. Um, conclude your test. So in this case, uh, we do not uh, reject H0. Okay. Uh, so you could say we accept H0. And um, crucially, we need to write our conclusion in the context of the question. So insufficient evidence to suggest uh, that the complaint is upheld.